In this episode, we're going to talk Atlas Arcade. I'm going to give you my five top tips on how to effectively use and play through the Atlas Arcade to make more Atlas Bucks. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey, all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. Time is more precious than gold, and I appreciate every minute you spend with me. Okay, if you're new here, or if you've been here for a while, uh, think about uh, subscribing. If you like the video, leave a like on it. I appreciate it. It helps me out. Um, after this video, if you get interested in playing Atlas Earth and you don't currently play it, uh, please use check the show notes and use my referral code. Uh, if you start playing with that referral code, you will get 200 free Atlas bucks by the time you hit your 11th parcel, and then I get 100 out of it as well. So it's a win-win situation. And these uh, referral uh, uses uh, over time, shout out to everybody who's used them, have really helped me out. So it's kept me going in the game. Okay, so the topic in this episode is my five top tips for working or using or playing through the Atlas Arcade. Uh, the idea came to me because I've spent over the last several months, I've helped people on Reddit, I've answered a lot of uh, comments and questions uh, on my videos, and so this topic is top of mind because everybody, uh, it's, it's a key part of playing through Atlas Earth, earning Atlas Bucks, is using the Atlas Arcade. These are arcade games that choose to use their uh, advertising dollars with Atlas Earth uh, basically to get us to play them, okay? So, but there are some tips tips on getting, uh, using them most effectively. Let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, just to set some basics here for people who may not or may be thinking about playing Atlas Earth, within the game, here, here's my phone, uh, I've got the game open. Uh, if you click the shop button, um, you will see the shop. Um, one of the options is called Atlas Arcade. Um, you can click on that and you will go in and you will see a, and there happens to be a boost event, which is going to be part of one of my tips uh, going on where you can earn extra Atlas Bucks for playing the game and earning rewards. But um, basically, these are games that are advertising through Atlas Earth um, and to, to get us to play them, right? So that's how Atlas Earth is making money off these games to be able to pay us. But what I wanted to show you here really quickly is there's two tabs here. The first is a catalog. These are the games that I have available to me now and the payouts, okay? The second is going to be my games. These are the games I've already downloaded and uh, at the bottom you will see games that I have finished, okay? So I wanted to point out these two sections of the, the Atlas Arcade before we moved on to my five top tips. Okay, here's my list. They're in no particular order. I think that uh, all of these you really have to do to be able to effectively play the Atlas Arcade and get your Atlas Bucks out of it uh, as many as possible. Okay, so the first one is not readily evident and it took me a little while to figure it out, okay? Only download new games during bonus events. Burn through as much of that game as possible during the event and don't go wide. What I meant by going wide is downloading a bunch of games, okay? Uh, first of all, we'll start off with the beginning of that comment. Only download during the bonus events, which you saw that pop up on my screen. Um, two times a month, there will be a bonus event where you earn extra Atlas Bucks on top of what you would normally earn. So you can go here and you can look at, uh, you can see the promotion has started. If you go into this particular game, you can see uh, right here, the first award, Reach Division 10, it's 26 Atlas Bucks instead of 17. So it would behoove you to download and play, uh, I got out of that. It would behoove you to download and play that you get more during a boost event, okay? But what more most people, a lot of people don't think about is the fact that when you download a game, there, there's uh, the, the game amount that are offered to you 
is finite, meaning there's only a certain amount of games that you can get, okay? Now, these are replenished over time, but if you download a bunch of games, your selection of games that you can choose from during these bonus events gets really thin. And if you download a lot of games, then you may not have any games on this list to download. OK, so that's why I said uh, early on, I kind of started making that that mistake and I realized it. OK, because some of these games um, take a long time to complete, but I'll stick with that statement uh, to make the best use of your game downloads. Just download during the bonus events and push through them as much as possible by not going wide and downloading a lot of, of games. You have more games to pick from when the bonus events come around. Okay, and that leads into my second statement, which is some games have a limited time to work through. You need to prioritize which games you're gonna play and when. We can see two prime examples on my screen here right now. That the top is Merge Dragons. I've been working through this for months. It doesn't have a time limit on it. I can uh, not necessarily take my time, but due to, the, due to it taking so long, there's no time limit on it. There may be some other variables behind. There may be some variables that, is, uh, that are involved with how much that company pays Atlas Earth for the advertisement. I don't know, but I do know that you can also see Dice Dreams, which I will be so glad to get done with, and I've also been doing for months, but you can also see right there that I only have 101 days left to complete this. And I'm hoping to get it done much sooner because it does have an extremely nice payout at the end. And that's why I continue to work on it. But at some point, some of these games, you're going to figure uh, the, the countdown is going to be on and you might just not be able to complete it. And you may just need to decide to, le to delete it at one point. But this brings up another tip uh, that didn't quite make the list, but I just thought of it. Um, is that you can reinstall games, but once you delete it, it's not going to track for Atlas Earth Bucks, and there's really no point in, um, in reinstalling that unless you just want to play the game. So the next tip is a common discussion point on Reddit and also Discord. Um, game payouts have many different variables. The variables include whether you're playing on iOS or Android, also includes what country you're playing from. Um, it includes a lot of different things I don't even know about, and this all falls under the marketing theme, and it comes down to how much money the team is being paid and how much money they make off of where you are in the world at, and advertising to you. It comes down to a lot of different variables, and a lot of them I'm probably not aware of, but I do know the basics of that. Now, um, also, I want to bring up the fact that some games have lower payouts but are easier to work through. Okay, in my last example, where I was talking about Dice Dreams taking me months and months to work through, um, it has a very nice payout at the end. We can see here, if I scroll over, you can see that I'm, I'm getting very close to getting that 270. But it's going to be a long time until I get that final reward. But you can see it's a fairly nice reward. I'll get 270 and then I'll get 559 at the end. Uh, I scrolled down, compare that to an, a game I completed. Um, let's just say drill and connect, uh, collect idle miner. Okay. So obviously the payout is a lot lower. You can see 37, 37, 36 down to 12. Most of them are in the 30s right there. Um, but this is a game I burned through in like, uh, you know, maybe a total of four hours playing. And it was relatively easy and pretty fun to, to go through. Um, so my point there is uh, not all games are equal. Uh, so you may look at a game and it, it has a huge payout, but it takes months and months and months to get there. Whereas you can pick a game like this and you can burn through it in a couple of days and get a quick two or 300 uh, Atlas bucks. So now the next tip applies to um, newer players that are just starting to trying to get up and running with the Atlas Arcade. You need to make sure that tracking is enabled on the games, okay? This allows the game to talk to the Atlas Earth Arcade app so that it knows when you hit certain levels so it can issue you the proper rewards. You don't have to enable um, 
not notifications, okay? So when you install a game, you'll get two pop-ups. The first thing is to enable a notification. I always leave those off because I don't want to I don't want all the spam all day long, right? The second one, you, you don't have to enable that one. The second one you do, which is the tracking, okay? And now I'm using an iPhone. I assume that on Android it's relatively the same, but if you go under settings and under your apps, you can look at uh, like a game, let's take Bitcoin Miner and click on it. And you can see that there's the allow tracking slider. That needs to be on for the game to talk to Atlas Earth and for you to receive your notifications and payouts correctly. The last part of this tip is uh, whenever you download a game, uh, make sure it moves over to the My Games tab before you put a bunch of time into it. So you're looking at a game in the catalog. You click download, it goes through the download. I usually play like a few minutes of it, just enough for everything to sync through and to answer your two pop-up questions. And then I go back into Atlas Earth and I check under the My Games section and see if it's moved over. If it's moved over, you're probably pretty good. And in that first setting, just to make sure, what I would do is I would try to accomplish that first goal to get that first payout. If you get that first payout, then everything's good. And lastly, hey, what do you do if you miss a payout? You've played through a game, you've done what you're supposed to, reached a certain level, played for a certain amount of time, what have you. This is a very common thing in Atlas Earth. I don't know the reason why, but it's just what we all run into while playing the arcade. There's a simple and easy way to um, put in a ticket. Um, so just put in a support ticket, make sure you take two screenshots, Take one screenshot in the arcade saying what your goal is. Oh, reach level 40 or whatever it is. And then the second one, take the screenshot in the game of the uh, place in the game that shows that you've reached that goal. And then uh, add when you put your ticket in, you can add an attachment to that ticket and um, add those two screenshots. And then they'll ask you, hey, how much do you owe or we owe you? And then I have found that they get back to me within two business days. Now, remember, uh, sometimes you can't count on weekend. I'm not sure if they're working weekends now. Um, so just take that into account. Just consider weekdays. So to put in a ticket, you go to your main screen, click on your icon up to the left. And then uh, what you're going to do is, uh, first of all, I see I've made up almost $147 so far. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, click the little uh, gear icon. And then you're going to click on help and support. In this page, they developed a quick way to put in a ticket here. You can see that you can just click on missing arcade rewards. And also just uh, on another topic, if you're missing survey rewards or AMP rewards, this is the same place you come to. But we're talking about the arcade, so click on missing arcade rewards. It gives you your tips and uh, some, some details, and then you just click on the blue button and you put in your ticket. So uh, this has been Bronze Dragon with five tips on using the Atlas Arcade and getting more Atlas bucks out of them. Uh, let me know in the comments how you've been doing uh, with the Atlas Arcade, how it's treating you. Um, otherwise, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and hey, I'll see you in Atlas Earth.